So we're going to have a quick look at Shaolin's Road, uh, which was sort of like a mid 80s uh, sideways scrolling platform arcade game. Now, my mate, uh, the CPC Traitor, as you would know him as, although I, I still mates with him, oof, all the way up to the mid 90s, I reckon. We were schoolmates before the uh, C64 come out, before the VCS come out actually. Well, before I got a VCS in 1980. You having a bit of trouble there mate? Litter tray too, uh, too small for you? You are an enormous cat. Hmm. Maybe we should put the big litter tray there. I'm not going to turn the camera so you can see my cat sitting in the litter tray. That's just rude, man. So this was by The Edge, who I wouldn't have attributed to this kind of game. Uh, okay, unlimited lives. Go on then, unlimited energy. Go on then. For shock control, whatever. Commodore key level skip. So yeah, my mate was really into karate. I went to karate once. As soon as I realised that everyone there has got their fucking feet out, I was like, no. And I uh, never went again to karate class. Had to have sausage and batter and chips on the way home to fucking forget the horrors of that hour. Because we were dropped off there and then picked up. I couldn't have gone home, it was miles away. Anyway, he was into all this kind of thing and watching movies with uh, Cynthia Rothrock. Who remembers her? Mm, she, she was kind of like Sonia. Sonia from um, Mortal Kombat 1. Which is why I don't like Mortal Kombat 2 because there's no Sonia. The Sonia factor is low. So yeah, my mate used to play this arcade game. So the graphics are sort of like, um, is it Technos or Tecmo that do those funny square looking uh, cartoon sprites? I've got no idea what's going on here. It just seems to have speeded up for no reason. So is it sort of like Mario Brothers? I thought it was a scrolling game. Yeah. Fucking uh, kick the uh, smelly cheese with your smelly bare feet. I think the sprite's all right. I think the uh, plainness uh, of the um, of the background. There's a lot of like solid colour and it's just black so really you can't appreciate the, the best. Ah that's what that button does so if you press the uh, arrow button you get to fire your uh, shot. Is it scroll now? No, it's kind of like uh, Mario Brothers arcade bubble bubble sort of thing. On, uh, you know, very rubbish backgrounds. I don't know why so many backgrounds on the C64 are this rubbish. Is it a limitation of the uh, multicolor character mode? You know, can you only have like the first eight colors, which are primary colors, like the BBC Micro, if you use that mode? I mean, if that's the case, then really, what the fuck are you doing using uh, multicolor character mode? That's what the bitmap mode is there for, mate. You fucking cocksucker. Come here, little shit.
So we got we got the same situation. I mean, um, although that does look like light blue in the background, so it is just uh, lack of talent, which is a very common thing amongst uh, computer game developers. He's firing his marbles. I'm not having that. He's off now. Pretty rubbish game if this is all it is, and I think it is all it is. Yeah, so once again we're seeing um, how shit the uh, home computer software library becomes when the copyright Nazis are forcing through the uh, you know the official conversions only. So if you had a game that was remotely like some rich company like Sega's arcade game, they'd have more money in court than uh, you know, a few people on the dot or coding a game, stopping it being published. So I'm sure it was uh, Capcom that prevented the release of uh, Alligators Who Dares Wins One. And usually that's not a, a happy accident. Because Commando was great and uh, Who Dares Wins 2 was great, better actually. But uh, nah, it's, um, you end up with uh, slapdash conversions of mediocre arcade games clogging up the library. That's why I really prefer the early C64 games, you know, up to about 84, 85. That's where you get in the, uh, you know, good sort of uh, percentages of uh, good to shit game when you randomly run a... This is crap! 